got some brutal sports uh, tendencies, and I'm kind of down for it. Yeah, a little bit. It was basically that uh, and uh, being in Rio for a while. When did you go? Weird or when peanut were you there? snacks. Huh? When were you there? Oh, this, this was back in like 94 when I was oh, a kid. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, it's about when I was there. And the thing I remember from it the most is like, just praying for vegetation for like any vegetable please just stop feeding me meat <laughs> just <laughs> meat such... with the meat side yeah. please just no. how about a small piece of broccoli <laughs> no 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 vegetable tomatoes that's about as close as you're going to get to vegetables tomatoes yeah, that's a fruit. maybe some fruit mm. but it's that's mostly fruit. mostly meat <laughs> meat 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 uh, this episode yeah. is brought to you by Eddie's Meat, 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 Meat. <laughs> meat, 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 Meat. Mm. Imported straight from Brazil. Mm. Brazilian meat is spelled Dutch four different ways. Mm. <laughs> God, it was a good time down there, too. We, Our family has a farm down there, and so, like, all summer long while we were on it, it just people will show up with random animals and you're like, all right, I guess we're grilling again. <laughs> and you sit down and that night you have another big barbecue. And after a few weeks, you're just like, please, please, for the love of God, my colon needs some kind of relief. <laughs> Celery, please. No, Jeremy, I don't so think he does. <laughs> yeah, and, and what's worse is like on I mean we're on the farm, the nearest town's like 30, 45 minutes away in Vasodas, and it's like, okay, we your your options for non-meat things are bread, cheese, bananas, or tomatoes. And that's pretty much it. I could get down with some cheese <laughs> and some bread beans. and bananas. You put that your head. I want to wrap a banana in cheese and deep fry it. That sounds terrible. Yeah. That sounds uh, we, uh, the best way on what cheese it is. We make uh, we make uh, these things called pastels. They're like um, imagine like a wonton wrapper, like you would have like a fried egg roll, but instead you stuff it with banana and like a nice like tangy cheese, like think like a white cheddar or like a farmer's cheese, with banana and cheese in it, and then you crimp you fold it into a triangle, crimp the edges, and then deep fry them. So they're basically just like banana and cheese pockets, all crispy. Oh, um, that sounds amazing, actually. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying I'll go my way to have sex with a fried banana, but if I had to, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> we, we, would, we would have those, or like uh, my mother will a lot of times make one that's almost like um almost like an empanada filling kind of thing. It's like a like really finely minced up chicken and some herbs and garlic, and she'll put that in a different one. Um, so yeah, they're just basically just stuffed fried shells, basically. Nice. Delicious. Very good. Yeah. yeah, but it's all heavy food. It's like it's an entire country that just eats comfort food 24-7 and then drinks hard, passes out, wakes up, does like four hours of work. <laughs> and today we Fucking learn a. about Eddie's childhood. Yeah. <laughs> and today you learn why I am the way I am. Yeah. Anyway, hey everyone, welcome to the goddamn stream. Uh, we've learned a lot from Eddie about his summers in Brazil, and we're ready to play some Teenage Odyssey. Uh, you guys are fighting a crocodile. A crocodile, you may crocodile. say. Uh, still got a little not little a crocodile yet. Mm, yeah. Last session, you all tracked down into the water drainage system under the town and decided, you know what, maybe we should go gear up. Yeah. And that's what we're going to start up with. You all leave the tunnel. What are you going to mm -hmm. do? Mm -hmm. Raid every liquor and medicine cabinet that we can get our hands on. Ooh, and we should get some like meat out of the freezer or fridge and mm -hmm. like stuff the drugs in that and feed it to the, croc the crocodile. Yes. Absolutely. This crocodile is going to be so messed up that by the time we fight it, we'll just need a stick. <laughs> Look, I found a gallon of, uh, what is, what's a laxative? <laughs> oh, it's, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> oh. Perfect. I think it makes you relax. Laxative. Well, yeah. Why do they need a gallon of this stuff? <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like you would just have a jet powered crocodile at that point. It's just, <laughs> oh God. it's going to burn <laughs> through. 
be like a gamera villain basically <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it exactly um yeah anyway i'll turn it all over to you you all exit the tunnel you are in your little town of bayside california uh it is getting late in the day and you know what you're up against so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so, it's a plan. Raid medicine cabinets and yeah. maybe grab a bunch of liquor and grab some meat to shove it all in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, like, what what could we do that could like quickly keep something close? Because like they can bite super hard, but opening their mouth not as strong. So we get something to bait them to bite it. What could we do to like quickly like snare its mouth once it's bit down on the bait? Uglicious. Some dog okay yeah they could put a big old piece of meat on the one end when it bites it just wrap the wrap the rest of the leash around its snout or chains uh i'll, I'll bet you anything that at the trailer park we could find medicine we could find mm -hmm. liquor and we could find dog chains yeah well the one dude's dad was a mechanic right they've got chains for doing pulls on the cars and stuff yeah, yeah. I'll get my bike. Yeah, so you all hop on your bike. Uh, and it sounds like you're heading down to area 16 on the map, which is the trailer park. Let me find my... Oh, I forgot I did that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you head down to the trailer park. You know that Kyle and Chad Butler's, uh, their dad owns the little shop that's on the way to the trailer park, or give or take around the same area. So yeah, you hop on your bikes, cut your way across town. You come to the little T in the road. You know if you turn right, you're going to go into the little uh, cul-de-sac with the large parking area off to the side and all the trailers at the back of that. Or if you take the left... Uh, you'll be heading towards the neighborhood that uh, the butlers live in. And on the way is the mechanic shop that their dad owns. Now that I think about it, uh, the trailer park also probably has a lot of guns, which could probably either help us or kill us very quickly. High risk, high reward. Wait a minute. Okay, just throwing it out there, since we're already potentially getting chains from the body shop, what if we mix some Bondo into the meat? Make it almost like the equivalent of like peanut butter mouth, where your mouth is kind of sticking a little? I gotta say, that's pretty genius. Man. I'm done for that. Okay. We're gonna die horribly, but we've got a cool plan. Got a great plan. So y'all still want a gun though. Yeah. Pulling up into the trailer park. There's maybe a dozen different trailers lined out and little rows with just enough space between them to park a car or two. Some of them have nice little decks on the front with plenty of lawn ornaments, gnomes, flamingos, pinwheels. Others don't look like they've seen a lawnmower in a few months. And uh, they're in pretty rough shape. All right. I've got an idea to provide a distraction. If you won't go searching for guns, I've got an idea for a distraction. Uh, all right. For, you want to distract them? I will not stop you. Look for a spot that looks like the equivalent like where somebody's done like like a very crude pit for doing a fire or sure. something like that. Yeah. Take out my guitar. If I leave here tomorrow, you... Oh, man, what a genius. Mm -hmm. that Play is some Skinner. Some fucking Skinner. It's not gonna... I mean, we don't even have to roll for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... I'm not trying to pigeonhole all people who live in a trailer park. But if you go up to a fire pit in a trailer park and start playing Skinnerd. I mean, it's like magic. People just start crawling out of the woodwork. And before you know it, before you even get through the first song, and you're all watching this, 
at least eight to nine people are all around. They're throwing wood in the pit, fire. They've got a couple coolers with beer. Lawn chairs start coming out, a couple other guitars. It's like cold play at a Starbucks. Everybody just starts coming out of the woodwork. That's it, exactly. <laughs> so, while Letty is putting up this fantastic distraction, uh, what are the rest of you doing? Picking a trailer and breaking in? Sounds like yeah. a thing to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all going to the same trailer or are you splitting up? Do we want the one that most obviously looks like it has guns in it or not? Because that's a gamble either way. Look we need something with a rebel it. flag outside of it because we'll know that yeah. that guy's definitely listening to the Skinner and he's got guns. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, so... Uh, let's see. Again, not that we want to pigeonhole people who live in trailer parks, but you know what I call a trailer park that loves Leonard Skinner? America. Yeah. A trailer park? I have a lot of relatives down in Mississippi. It's, it's just, it's, there's truth to it. You see one trailer, it's got a big old rebel flag, and underneath that, it's got a Reagan Bush 81 flag underneath of it. Oh shit! Um, Jackpot. Does it have a sign that says "Sovereign Citizen"? Because if it does, that's our house. Was the Sovereign, <laughs> Sovereign Citizen movement a thing in the nineties? Yeah, it was. Okay, I remember seeing it in the twenty. At the very least, a Gadsden flag. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you all pick that one. You can easily walk up the. Crude. It looks like it was some old shipping, you know, uh, pallets that they've kind of cut down and nailed into stairs leading up to the door. Uh, you would have all seen two, uh, you know, looks like guys maybe in their 40s, shirtless mullets. They walked out carrying a cooler between them and head over to Letty's Skinner Circle. Um... Are you all just entering in through the front door? Are you going to try and sneak in through a window? What's the plan? Tell you what, if we all go to the same I'm house, somebody, we'll somebody keep a lookout, and then the rest of uh, uh, everyone else can go through like a window or something, maybe? Yeah, I'll, I'll boost you guys up into a window, and then I'll keep lookout. Okay. All right, sounds like a plan. All right, well, with the boost, I don't want to call for a roll for that. So, yeah, you find a window. It's open. Uh, you easily kind of pry the screen back a little bit. And with Kyle's help, Jeeves, Dexter, and Waylon all get hoisted in through the window. Um, and you find yourself in a, like the cluttered bedroom. It's an old ratty mattress lying on the floor. And sleeping on this mattress is... Looks like five kids between the ages of like two and six, maybe. Um, they all seem to be sleeping at the moment. Um, initial look around. It looks like this is very much the kids room. Uh, what do you all want to do? You'd find the parents room. Okay. You head out through... Actually, why don't everyone who's in there... No witnesses. <laughs> why don't everyone who's in there... Go ahead and give me a body test as you sneak through the room without waking up any of the kids. Uh, Kyle, you're keeping watch. You kind of move off a little bit so you can keep a good eye on the trailer. Uh, why don't you go and give me a mind test there, Kyle? All right. Give me a sec here. I forget how to navigate this table. Uh, the... Oh, God, my uh, thing is not wanting to actually open my character. Ah, there we go. Yeah, character sheets are in the character tab in the base side character sheets folder. And you, have okay. to and you said a it. mind test? Yeah. D20 at um... or under your mind score. 
And everyone else needs to make a body test? Everyone else except for Letty has to make a body test. I feel. That is, uh... And if you fail, you can 15. spend luck, your point of luck, to re-roll that. I'm, I'm going to have two to. points of luck. <laughs> yeah. uh, so mine was over as well. Okay. I'm going to spend, spend the luck to re-roll. Okay. Yeah, so I'll spend one myself as oh, well. Um... Written matter, Do we have still our... failed. Do we have our character deals to click on? No. Yeah, you have to manually type in. What do you mean character deals to click on? Oh, I was just wondering if we had, I couldn't remember if we had tokens. Oh, no, we don't have tokens. Okay. Let's do... Hey, there we go. That's well under. Okay. So, Jeeves, how'd you do? That's you, Joe. You should unmute. Oh, sorry. I was unmuted. Sorry. Uh, I passed. Okay. And Waylon? Passed. Okay. As Jeeves and Waylon are moving through the room, Dexter, being maybe slightly distracted by some old, broken 70s G.I. Joes that have been thoroughly melted and then fused together in inappropriate ways, uh, you accidentally... It's not anatomically possible. <laughs> yeah. uh, you accidentally step on one of the many empty beer cans in this room. Because, uh, you know, there's no better way to get your child ready for bed than a few cold ones. Yeah. No, come on. Now, everybody knows Jack Daniels, the traditional trailer park remedy for all kids screaming. Well, that's true. That is true. Though that's mostly administered to the parents. Yeah. That's true. Um. Yeah, you step on a can and it makes this very loud crinkle. And the youngest kid wakes up, looks around, this filthy faced little two year old snot stains under its nose starts just bawling. I find a beer quick, I hit. <laughs> kid. Okay. Um, tell you what, give me a charm test. <laughs> Slap a nipple over the top of it. Uh, all right. So, bam. I make it. Nice. Uh, yeah, you easily find a half-empty beer setting on a shelf. Uh, the first one you grab, you look and you see there's a cigarette butt sticking out of the, the opening. Um so you set that one down and grab the one next to it, and it seems fine, and you stick it in the kid's hand. And the kid, without missing a beat, just starts putting it back and eventually slays back down and off to sleep. It's a natty light household. It's a natty light household. As you all make it out into the main area of the trailer park, or the, the trailer. You can see that there is a couple couches in here. Uh, there's an old, you remember those old rear projection big screen TVs? Mm. Uh, there's one yeah. of those, but the there the tubes are misaligned, so the colors are all slightly out of sync. You see that there's two large fridges in the kitchen area. And you see a couple other doors at the other end. What do you all do? I'll go straight to that fridge and see what's in there. All right. I'm looking for Oscar Mayer and God dang Schlitz. Okay. You throw the first fridge open and it is just loaded with Natty Light. Perfect. Fully stocked. I'm slamming so much of that in my backpack as I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh we'll say that you easily get go ahead and roll me uh go ahead and roll me two D ten. All right. Whew. You get a twelve pack. Twelve pack. Yeah. Slammed into your backpack. You open up the other fridge. And sure enough, I mean, there are 
There's some hot dogs. There's some ground beef. There is some milk that is thoroughly separated in its its jug. Um, My phone is ringing and it won't stop. There we go. No phone. How dare you? Uh, you also see that there's um, there's a tray with some fish, fresh fish. Uh, looks like they've been cleaned. They're still whole, and that they're in like. Uh, some Ziploc bags, and you can see they got like some marinade in there or something like that. And looking in the freezer, both freezers are packed with frozen raw meat. There are steaks, there's ground beef, there's some fish. I'll take some marinade and hot dogs. That should, that should get the job done. Okay, so do you grab, like, one of the big Ziploc bags on the tray with a big ass? And this is, like, fresh-caught sea fish, whatever the fuck kind of sea fish they would be catching over here. Swimming in marinade. Oh, yeah. Throw that in your bag. And you said you grabbed some hot dogs as well? Yep. Okay, you got hot dogs, you got raw fish in a Ziploc bag, and you got a 12-pack of Natty Light. All right. Jeeves and Dexter, Perfect. what are the two of you doing? I'll be right back. Yeah. Looking for where there might be any weapons stored. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm looking for his knife collection. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you look around, and you can see hanging on the wall above the TV are, is a hunting rifle. Yeah, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. Uh, if you open up the kind of the two doors in the back of the room, one is another bedroom and the other one is the bathroom. Bathroom is grungy, filthy, um, you know, a stack of Playboy sitting on the back of the toilet. The bedroom is also absolutely filthy, but the ceiling is got mirrors attached to it. you all want to do a little more looking you absolutely can i'll say give me some mind tests well i'm sorry what kind of tests mind mind okay um. it's like you both make it yeah a pass all right so um as you're looking you go into that bedroom uh, you find that, yeah, you open up like the little dresser, little uh, nightstand by the bed. You slide that open and it is just full of knives. Uh, you can see there's folding knives, you know, some Swiss Army knives. There's some big like uh, buck knives, some big skinners, things like that. Uh, it's the knife drawer. Um Looking around, we'll say Jeeves, uh, Dexter, you found the knife drawer. Jeeves, you kind of look around a little bit. Maybe you head into the bathroom. Uh, you throw open that um, the medicine cabinet. And let me make sure I say the right things here. What? I search for this specific medication and the first thing that comes up. Uh, yeah, never mind. That's fine. Uh, you find a shitload of Percocet and Oxycontin. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead and That's roll me. Go ahead and roll me a roll me a D. Roll me 2d4. Three. Okay. Uh, you find one full prescription bottle of Oxy and two full prescription bottles of Percocet. Yeah. Hot damn. Yeah. Uh, Dexter, also while looking around in the room, you can find the closet is full of fishing gear like some rather sizable fishing poles, lures, 
different Ooh. kinds of bait. Try to find some big hooks for the meat and some really yeah. high, high, uh, high pound tests some or high test line. line. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. You easily find, you find some big deep sea hooks, you know, the, the big giant honkers and you find some, uh, some real heavy line to go along with those big fishing rods. So yeah, uh, you've got enough knives where we can say that everyone's got a knife. Um, you've got drugs, you've got beer, you've got meat, um, and you got fishing gear. I call that a weekend. Yeah, it's a proper party now. As Kyle, you're waiting for your friends to leave. And you see one of the two mulleted individuals is heading back. They get up from Letty's little party and they're heading back towards the trailer. Shit. Uh, why don't you go ahead there, Kyle? Give me a charm test. See if you were loud enough for your friends inside to hear but not so loud that you alert the person approaching. Oh, perfect. Yeah, those of you inside, you hear Kyle giving you the code to get out because someone's on the way. No. Are you all bolting out of the front door or are you heading back to that window? Back to the window, probably. Yeah, because he was stationed up front, right near where the door is? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Easily. Kyle helps you out. You all slip out of the window and you've got some good stuff. Letty, you see your friends kind of move out of the way and give you the signal. Being the selfish prick I am, I'll see if there's anybody amidst the crowd that seems worthwhile. If there's the trailer park queen that I could try and wink Woo? at. Of course. Yeah. There's the trailer park queen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's maybe a year older than you. The lowest low-rise jeans, flip-flops, uh, <laughs> that that ratty brown hair with plenty of those uh, little... Um, remember in the 90s, the things that you know, they would put their hair in it? Yeah. They would like, braid it and leave little like... Oh, an aqua net so much that she's a ha uh, fire hazard. Yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> well, definitely yeah, setting but... farther back. <clears throat> yeah oh man uh just try to coolly take like one of those things that was in one of the coolers yeah uh give me a second okay. that's some goth girl digits earlier than i Get to cover my spectrum. Hang on. By God, I rolled rocker. I feel I have an obligation. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you would know that her name is Christy, as she's very proudly told everyone at the school that she was named after Christy Brinkley uh, mm -hmm. after her father's favorite issue of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. <laughs> <laughs> as seen on February 9th, 1981. Amazing. But yeah, you, how are you approaching Christy? Just walk past and like one of the coolers that's open, just grab like probably some, what was one of the really popular like wine coolers back then? Like oh, do one of those... Boons. Boons, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the just boons. grabs a bottle of Boons, <laughs> like tries to like slyly get it up. Bring it over and like clink it to whatever she's holding. Cool, you could be here. And then just walk away. Just, just try to leave it oh, at that. Oh, give me a charm test. Oh, smooth. Give me a charm test. I'll let you take advantage of it because you were just playing Skinnered and you got some boons. Okay. All right. Let's roll them 2d20. It looks like a double pass. Double pass. All right. You pass, and she she rubbernecks 
as you're walking away and just t spins around and she just watches you. Good. I'm going to bank that for later. Bank that for later. Yeah. All right. You all team back up. Uh, you've got fishing gear. You've got everyone's got a knife. It's one handed, does a D6. Um, you've got plenty of, you've got hot dogs and you've got some fish and marinade in a Ziploc bag. You've got a 12 pack of Natty Light, a bottle of Boons, uh, and drugs. Perfect. Yeah. Now what's the plan? Get them. Go snag us a dog chain or a leash. Yeah. I mean, you can easily look around the trailer park here. And you can see there are several several of those outdoor <laughs> kennels, you know, where it's just a mm. concrete pad with some chain link around it. Um, but you can also see on the far side, there is... That one trailer with all them dogs. And you can see that two or three of them are on those, uh, you know, are staked out in the yard. You can see the dead circle in the grass from where they're just there all day, dragging their chain behind them. One of these circles is unoccupied, and you can see the chain laying there. The problem is, is the other one is not. And you see a very large, angry-looking... Uh, Fucking, god damn it. German Shepherd. I don't know why. German Shepherd. Uh, and it is kind of between you and this free length of like 30 foot of chain. What's the plan? Who all is here? All of you. Oh. Well, it's a perfect time to test out our drugs then. Grab a piece of meat. Good idea. I'll get, <laughs> sure. I'll get us a hot dog out. <laughs> you grab a hot dog and you stuff some Percocet in it. And you toss yep. it to the dog, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Takes 10 to 15 minutes after that dog eats it, and it just falls over. You can go get that chain freely now. Nice. I have a feeling that after we wrap up this little teenage odyssey story, we're going to have to like bump up the parental guidance warning on Teenage Odyssey. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. All right. But yeah, you leave the high dog <laughs> behind and you've got your chain now as well. Next. Now what's up? Well, we going to fight us a crocodile? Yeah. I think we're ready. Let's we go. can't lose. Okay. Hop on your bikes, head back across town. You find the drainage pipe, and you all go. Who's leading the way? I don't know. Who's got light? That's the next question. Who's got light? I forget um, who had one. I think I had one. Because I think we found yeah, one. Of you guys had a, a flashlight. flashlight. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I had that. Okay. So the I'll Jeeves. leave. Jeeves, you're leading the way. Yeah. That's great. All right. As you head down, you know where to go, roughly where to turn. You find the huge scratches on the wall where this thing was dragging itself through. Mm -hmm. And you just, you follow along. No sign of it. You're in there for quite a while. And you feel the pipes slowly start angling up. Until eventually... It opens up into a, a spillway. And you step out and you realize that you're now outside again. It's enough that it's it's dusk. And as you look around, you realize you've traversed the entirety of town following the tracks of this crocodile. Up to area 21 on top of the hill at the side of town at the water treatment hmm. plant. I think it's round. It does. And as you look around, you can see the huge, the huge pools of water where they like, you know, move the water through the different purification processes before making it available to town. 
and you can see the largest of these pools. Uh, there are several carcasses of small to medium sized animals floating in the water. That's why our tap water tastes weird. It is. But you're certain this is where it came from. This must be its den, <laughs> base of operations, whatever you want to call it. Yes, we've got chain, but we don't just have chain. You got some like uh He's got this fishing line fishing here. Line. Yeah, yeah, fishing line and big hooks. Like we kinda <laughs> like Maybe get decent length on it, kind of like go around the perimeter, give it a moving target to maybe look at. Something that looks like a fish, and I'll waggle my marinated cod around. Yeah. I'll stuff it full of drugs. Okay. Absolutely. You pull the fish out of the bag. You start loading it with all sorts of drugs. You put a hook on it, some fishing line, so you can pull it, I'm guessing. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a fucked up Pez dispenser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what? Like, put it on the line and go around the perimeter as best you can to kind of make it look like something that's swimming in the water. Okay, so you walk in the border... Got the fish in the water, trying to lure it out. Yeah, go and give me a charm mm -hmm. test there, Letty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone else, make me a mind test. Yes. No. no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I saw Tony in there. Yep. 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 Get all right. As you're all watching, Passed by one, you can see the ripple in the water coming towards the bait that Letty is luring. Enough of you passed that you you know it's coming. Are you going to pull this fish up out of the water to try and lure it onto ground? Or are you letting it grab it in the water? Maybe be better if we could get it up on ground. Agreed. Okay. You do good enough on your rolls there that you, right when that that disturbance in the water is coming right at your fish, you immediately veer off towards the, the right, dragging the fish up onto the water. As you look, and you can see Christy walking up towards you. Hey there, Letty. How's it going? Oh, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, wait, you're not going to believe this funny story. We're hunting a crocodile right now. Pretty awesome, right? We're solving a mystery, uh, a suspicious mystery. Oh, that's Watch this. as it erupts out of the water and screams. This thing is absolutely massive. Huge. Why don't, uh, why doesn't everyone go ahead and give me a mind test? Because hmm. we're going to call this a fear attack. Christy. Can't let myself look stupid. <laughs> nope. That's it's fine. not the crocodile, nope. Chuck. I'm, I'm, I'm just one. looking at Christy. Is that it? <laughs> that it? It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. Not by a lot. Okay. Just enough. People who failed this, um, go ahead and roll me a d6. A d6, you say. Dos. Four. Okay. That's how much the sphere attack deals to your current mind score. Ah! Oh. So. Oh, Lord. Now we need to I'm see. Permanently what... now scar are scarred with the image of sex and violent animals. Oh no! <laughs> All at once. That's a uh, weird kink. Oh my! Uh, everyone who's taken that mind damage, please go to the rollable tables tab. 
It's the one that's the little box with the three dots and the three lines after. Okay. And you're going to expand the fear folder. Mm -hmm. And you're going to look at your current luck score. Yep, it's bad. And you're going to roll on the table that correlates with your current luck. Loss of your nerve. You have disadvantage on your next 1d4 test. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, here's my d4. Same. One. Okay, just my next test. Okay. Also one. Whew. And, Joe, you are startled, so you've got disadvantage on your next test or damage roll as well. Yeah. Okay, you all got the same thing. Basically, yeah. This crocodile erupts out, scares everyone, including Christy. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do our initiative. Uh, initiative in this game, if I remember correctly, because I don't, I never fucking remember. Uh, was this something like you do a check and then if you succeed, you go before others? No, this is popcorn. popcorn. It's Skin oh, popcorn, City that's, right. that's the, the check. Okay, my bad. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and roll a d6, starting at Jeremy on the overlay is 1, Joe's 2, Bert's 3, I'm 4, Jake's 5, Eddie is 6, and that's going to be who starts off initiative. Uh, Joe, stop eating, because it's your turn. All right. Um, what are you eating? It's just disadvantage. What? What are you eating? Apples. Ew. I was hoping it was something tasty, but no, it's a healthy snack. It was apples, mangoes, and grapes. Mm. Okay. It's a trio. It's your turn. Um, hmm. Big thing jumped up. Um, I'm kind of curious. Who? What was the name of the girl that came up? Christy. Christy. Named after Christy. She looked surprised at this. Terrified. Okay. It looks like she was following Letty. Okay. Less suspicious. All right. Um. Did it? Does it look like it tried to eat the the fish? It has not yet. It's coming up after the fish. Um, okay. And it looks like the sudden uh, chorus of shrieks of terror has slightly thrown it off of its immediately going in to devour that fish. Okay. Uh, I want to reel that fish in then if it looks like it's distracted and then wait for it to be like roaring or something with its mouth open and just throw it in. Okay. You reel the fish in. You've got the fish. Okay. Yeah. Joe, who's next? Uh, oh, yeah, it's popcorn. Yeah. Uh, let's do Jeremy. Okay. Christy's freaked out. Obviously, I'm going to tell her, just stay close. I've got you. Uh, and one of the items I start off with is a cassette player with headphones. And to try and help her not be as freaked out, turn on the music, put it on her, and, uh, you know, it may not be her thing, but clearly Letty better would be listening to Pearl Jam. Yeah. So he's got Pearl Jam playing, but he'll give her something to be listening to to kind of distract her. Okay. And not be super freaked out. Okay. Um, that is noted. She still panicked, but the music definitely is helping her kind of snap out of it a little bit. And then do my best to kind of like get her away from okay. it. Signal Which, for her to start going. Okay. I, I would feel bad if I get her killed. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Lenny, who's going next? I feel really bad saying it. The crocodile. Crocodile's next. I love it. It is a target rich environment. Waylon. Oh, boy. That's you. Yeah, it is. Hey there. Thanks for that sub. That's fantastic. Um, uh, 
yeah, it's just going to fucking scamper on over to you and take ah. a bite. Oh, no. So first things first, Jake, you need to give me a body test. Body test, come up. Bing, bang, boom. And don't forget, do you have advantage or disadvantage on this? Uh, disadvantage? Yeah. How's okay, that 14? so uh, 14 times with 14. Okay, you're good then. Okay. All right, well, with that, you take three damage. Ooh. What's your health at? Zero. Okay. Is it... Did, what What did your flat, HP... Flat zero. Flat zero. That's what I'm getting at. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, as you all watch this thing run up to Waylon and just take a fucking chunk out of his leg... Yeah, it does look good. No. Uh, Dexter, you're up next. Hmm. Uh, Dexter will run forward and stab the crocodile. Absolutely. You run forward. Try and help his friend. Stab the crocodile. Yep. Body test. Body. Um. No, you just deal your damage of your weapon. Oh, okay. So are you uh, what did you say the knife sword? D6. D6? Okay. And Ooh. if I remember correctly, you have disadvantage on this? Yes. Okay. So what, I roll another d6 then? Roll another d6. Oh, okay. Take the lower. All right. All right. Two. Two damage. But I can spend a luck to make it a six, right? You absolutely can. Uh, so. Can you go to zero luck? You absolutely can. You just fail can. all luck checks. You just fail all luck tests. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I will make that a six. That becomes a six. So then I get to roll another six, it right? It explodes. You get to roll another six. Yep. You deal 10 damage. 10 points of damage. Um. Yeah. It does have some damage reduction. Is it 100%? No, it's not. It takes damage. It does. Absolutely. I'm just letting you know. It didn't take all of the damage. Oh, yeah. All right, Dexter. Who's next? Hmm. Uh, Waylon, have you gone? I, Waylon and Kyle? I have, have not. Then, yeah, since you're being chewed on, why don't you go? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll scream, Letty, I'm sorry, and I'm throwing Christy at the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You throw... Throw some Percocets in her, in, her, in her pockets. You grab Christy and you throw her at the crocodile. Yeah. Um, you know what? <laughs> We're just going to call that your action. I'm not even going to make your roll. Oh, All right. God. Okay. Christy is now the target. Anything oh, else? Kyle, Wayland? it's all on you. Nope. Kyle, it's your turn. I do right. respect that play. <laughs> <laughs> Letty might be upset, but I respect it. <laughs> Let's see. We got we we've all got knives, right? Everyone's got a knife. Dexter, I think, okay. also has a BB, BB gun. gun. But everyone else at and least this thing, has a knife. And this thing is chasing Christy now. Yup. It's going after okay. Christy. And don't forget, since you're the last on this initiative round, you also go first on the next one. So you've got two turns right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm assuming the knives we have are like kitchen knives, or are they no, like they're pocket like knives? Hunting or... knives. Nice. Like old school, okay. Like the Rambo knives you kept like, seeing in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, where it has like the little fucking yes. cable. The, little... the Mortal Kombat knives. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna like take take up like a throwing position, and I'm gonna flip this thing around so I'm holding the blade. Yeah. And I'm chucking it straight at this thing's face. You absolutely can. So. Since you're using this as a thrown weapon, it does change the damage die. Mm. Because one-handed thrown weapons deal a D4, and one-handed melee weapons deal a D6. So you absolutely can, and it'll deal a D4. That's good, though. Okay. You're more likely to explode on a D4. This That's is accurate. good. So yeah, that'll be a D4. I would like to also point out that I am assuming, since we were all kind of grouped up, that... Uh, she is now between me and the crocodile. Yes. 
<laughs> but you still you'll hit the crocodile. So I'm trying to it's throw fine. past her, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, it's fine though. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, you just so roll your damage. Roll? Just a d4. Just to roll a d4. Yeah. That's that a, a three. three. Now, if you want to use a point of luck, you can turn that into a four, and you get to roll a second d4. I will do that. All right, so we're at four right now. Give me another d4. You do That's five damage. All right. Okay, as the knife hits into this thing. Kyle, it's your turn. Fantastic. I'm going to take out my soccer ball since I now have no knife. Yeah, that's fine. I'm assuming this thing is uh, kind of coming straight at us and yeah. has its mouth open as it's roaring and screaming. Sure. Cool. Well, my soccer ball is one of my like special items. Yeah. I'm going to set it down on the ground and get like extra serious. Yeah. Super focused. Super focused. And I'm gonna I'm gonna back up a couple of steps. I'm going to be like, guys, I got this. This is just like penalty kicking. And I'm going to wall up that thing and try and get it lodged in its throat. <laughs> yes. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you treat this as a ranged attack. So you're going to get to deal a D4 no matter what. You're also going to give me a body test to see if you can get this thing stuck in its mouth. Now... This is one of your special <laughs> items. So I'm going to give you advantage on this body test. So, All right. Should I roll the damage first? Yeah, put that D4 I... out there. Okay. That's a two. Two points of damage. All right. Can you make now a gag roll... on your balls? Yeah. 2D20. Yep. And you get to keep the lower. First one's a 17. Second one is a four. Those are, those are both under my body score, so. Oh, shit. Damn. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking kick this thing, and it goes right in its mouth. And it is I take, nice. like, three running steps forward, slide on my knees, arms up, like, no! Oh, oh. This thing now has a fucking soccer ball stuffed in its mouth. Okay. Kyle, who's next? Uh... Is it, it, it nobody's currently being attacked anymore, are they? Well, not until it's next turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to Waylon. Okay. Waylon, you're up. Um, I'll give Christy a 12 pack of Night of Light. Okay. <laughs> As an apology. Sorry about like, that. Like, I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> Have beer. I'm sorry, but also if you get eaten, this will get eaten too. Oh, okay. Sure. You grab the Natty Light out of your bag and you just thrust it into Christy's hands. Then I'll pass it to Letty. <laughs> Letty, you're up. I guess, I mean, she's got the 12 pack. We try and pull Christy back and kind of swap places with her. Letty's like, okay. my girl and my beer. <laughs> oh god save the beer and the girl pull her back and then come forward to come stabbing with the knife this is so dumb yeah you interject yourself in front of Christy. But you've got to save the girl more importantly you got to save the beer that's true so that's true. pull them both back put myself in the position yeah in front of it and then stab that's it. what a rocker would do yeah. what a rocker would do because if i survive this you yeah, make your, you make know. Your, your, your that croc's not the only thing you're slaying. And right. It's two damage. Uh, let me see. What's my luck? Yeah, I've got five luck. I'm spinning a luck. So we'll turn that into a six. Okay. We'll so roll you're at a six. six. Seven oh, damage. God damn it. <laughs> roll a one. All right, Letty, who's after you? Uh, let's go with, uh, let's have Joe hop up here. Jeeves, you're up. Jeeves. All right. Is the thing's mouth open? It is, but there's also a soccer ball there. There is. Um, How obstructing and 
is this soccer ball compared to? It's enough that it can't bite right now. Okay. That's good. I want to throw the fish like down its throat. Okay. This will be a this will be a body test. And Okay. I feel like trying to slip a fish past a soccer ball in the throat of a giant giant crocodile. We're gonna call this disadvantage on this body test. Okay. I really wedged it in there, Joe. Does a 10 pass? Oh, man. I'm sorry. You got to keep the uh, higher. 19. Does not. Luck is how you reroll, right? Luck will let you reroll it. You got to reroll that at a disadvantage. Yep. Oh, that's way worse. <laughs> Let's do another luck. Wow. 11. Does that pass? It does not by one. Okay. Nuts. So got one more luck. You're going to burn it? Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Nope. No. Yeah. Roll me a d4. Okay. Joe loses a hand. No, you deal one damage to the crocodile as you throw a fish in its mouth. As you throw it hard. The and fish, like, <laughs> fall into the water? Uh, What's your luck score? One. Roll me a luck test. Oh no. You can't go below one, right? No, you can go to zero. Oh, I can go to zero? Yeah. If I can go to zero, I'm gonna re-roll my luck again. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Just disadvantage. I'm gonna burn it all. Nope. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, really I mean disadvantage is a rough thing to re-roll on. Yeah. So Joe. You deal a My point of damage, the water. and your fish falls in the water. I mean, you All can... right, I'm going to dive in after it next. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, God! No. Jeez, who's... Get that. Yeah, who's next? Me or Dexter? Uh, oh, is that the end of the turn, and there's there's no two people haven't, haven't acted yet? Yeah, Dexter hasn't gone, and I haven't gone. Well, I don't want the crocodile to get two turns, so it's crocodile turn. Okay. The crocodile tries to bite Letty. But it doesn't. Now the crocodile, in this process, I'm going to see if it dislodges the soccer ball. Since it's Kyle's special object, it's going to make a body test with disadvantage. Let's go. I do not make it. All I care about is I get the slow-mo moment of me putting myself in front of Christy as it lunges at me. You do. And you just, it tries to like bite your face, but it just can't close its jaws around this soccer ball. <laughs> Dexter. I hope she doesn't see the soccer ball and let her assume it's all me. <laughs> it's all you. All right. Uh, Dexter shoots his BB gun. Hit the crocodile. Yes. I like it. Pump, pump, pump. Shoot. Bing. Two points. Two points. Okay. <laughs> Dexter, it's your turn. Uh, Dexter shoots his BB gun. Yeah. <laughs> pump, shoot. <clears throat> oh, I was hoping for the fours. Yeah. Nope. Shot, shot. Okay. Who's after you, Dexter? King, We're at the start King. of the round. Uh, well, uh, Letty is right up there in it, right? Yep. Yeah, Letty, why don't you go? So its mouth hasn't been able to fully close just yet, right? No, it tried to bite you, but it couldn't because of the soccer ball. Okay. Well, so we can't really do the whole, like, chain shut thing just yet. No. So, oh, God, I guess I'm going to keep fighting with it. But it makes If nothing else, it makes me look cool in front of Christy. So... I will bravely stab at it with the knife. That's one. I'm going to spin a point of luck. That's a six. It's a four. That's ten damage. Ten. Okay. 
Who's after you, Lenny? Uh, let's let Jeeves go again. Jeeves, you dive right. in the water. Yes. Uh, you're searching for Going something. After that fish. Give me a mind test. Okay. And mind test is rolled, even though my current's lower. It's you always roll the max. Those... Yeah, you always okay. roll against the max. All right. Hey, that's a pass. You dive in. It didn't sink far. You grab your fish and you surface. Okay. Okay. You've got your drug fish. I'll have to dunk it. Okay. Who's after you, Jeeves? Um, so it's new round. Letty went first. Yeah. Right? No, Dexter went first, and then Letty but, went. Yeah, Dexter now went you've first gone. from the double. So Letty. it's okay. Kyle, Waylon, or me? Let's do Kyle. Right. Um, I'm not really sure what I can do. I don't have a knife, and I don't have my soccer ball anymore. You can always go punch it. I do have a pencil. I would count that as a one-handed weapon. I'm going to try and stab it in the eye. Okay, this will be a called shot. So you're going to give me a body test. Okay. If you succeed, you're going to hit it in the eye. If okay. you fail, you don't hit it in the eye. Either way, you still deal your D6 damage. So yeah, you stab it in the eye. Give me a D6. You deal two, two points of damage. You stab it in the eye. It cannot see out of that eye. Nice. Who's Blind that? in one eye. Yeah. Kyle. Now, I, yeah. It, does it make any difference if I say that, like, when I stab it, I want to pull the pencil back out? I would presume that you keep it in your hand unless you tell me otherwise. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, Thank you for those bits. That. Why don't we do this? Uh, John just threw 500 bits. Um, I don't have anything lined up for a bit. So I'll tell you what. Everyone take a point of luck. Ooh. I can it's now huge. pass luck tests, nice. presumably. <laughs> so Kyle, yeah, you got your pencil in your hand. Is that correct? You pulled it back out? Yep. Okay, very cool. Uh, so, right. um, Waylon or me? Uh, you. Okay. The crocodile cannot bite. There's a soccer ball in its mouth. So I'm going to use its headbutt attack. Oh, great. And Keep in mind, I'm on the blind side. You can't see me. You are on the blind <laughs> side. I'm going to go with Letty because Letty's right up in the way. So uh, first things first, Letty, mm -hmm. you've got to make a body test. I do. I do. Okay. Body test. Body test. He just passes body test. Fuck. Okay. So nope. it is going to deal. Oh, I rolled an eight. God damn it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, I don't have eight hit points. Uh, It's going to deal 12 damage to you. I don't have 12 hit points. What's your hit point total at right now? Uh, Negative 10. Ooh. What? I had two hit points. I have other, all my stats are great, but my hit points so, are pure shit. So what happens is once you're you run out of hit points, the damage starts applying towards your current body stats. Oh, oh, good. Okay, so that gets me down to five body. Okay, so you're, good. Your current body is is five. Now, one a reminder: it doesn't affect your tests. Your tests are always against your max score. Oh, thank God. What's your luck? Uh, it's back up to four now. Okay. Uh, go to, same thing, the uh, the rollable tables tab, and go ahead mm -hmm. and go to injuries. Mm -hmm. And I want you to roll the injury four to six luck. Okay. okay. You lose your next turn in combat. You are winded. Shit. Oh God! And you Shit. you failed your body test, right? Yeah. Okay. So not only do you take that damage, it sends you flying ten feet back. So it it hits you hard with the side of its head. You go flying. So luckily, you're uh, you're laying back by the entrance to the drainage tunnel. 
uh, on your ass. <laughs> yeah, Waylon, you're up. Um, I'll take the cod from you, Jeeves. You go and you grab the fish from Joe. All right. And then for my next turn, I will throw it into the crocodile's mouth. Okay. I, that's fine. This is a body test. Um, it will be disadvantage because you are navigating the soccer ball that's still in its mouth. Gotcha. How's a 16? Not enough. I'll re-roll that. Okay, you spend a luck. What's your body stat? 14. Oh, 20's Ooh. not going to get it. Yep, spending another luck. Okay. Spending another luck. Okay. <laughs> Ow. I'm noticing a pattern here with this fish. Okay, that was a pass. pass. Yes. All yeah. right. Roll me a D four. That's four. a four. Roll All me right. another D four. Two. You deal six Two. damage. All right. Fish has about six points of luck imbued in it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, as you manage to throw it, and you see it just right behind the soccer ball. You see a little flex of the crocodile's throat. The fish is swallowed. All right. Then I'll pass the turn off to the crocodile. No, it's your turn. Uh, what? You were the last to go, mind. so you're the first. Yeah, well, for the first one, I grabbed a fish, and oh, then for okay. the second, I threw it. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, it is the crocodile's turn. I'm going to make it roll a body test. Uh, it does pass the body test. So, you can see its head start to drift a little bit, but it's still going. Uh, Dexter was shooting, Jeeves is in the water, Letty was knocked back. So my targets are Waylon, Kyle, and Christy. This thing is going to try and bite Christy. It's got Who's a soccer ball. Letty? Letty got thrown back. I got knocked back. I was trying to protect her, but oh, that's I got right. knocked back. God damn it. It does not get the soccer ball out. <laughs> that soccer ball has been great. The soccer oh, ball has been a lifesaver. <laughs> Uh, Jeeves, you're up, man. That's me. Um, let's see, it's been fed the fish. I'm in the water. You're in the water. Mm hmm. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess I'll, uh, I'll start punching it from the yeah. water. Are you getting out of the water? Or you're you're staying in the water. I'm staying in the water. I'm fighting it. Okay, it's not in the water. Oh, I thought it got out of the water. Okay. It got up and it's or up I, on the I land. It was yeah. Like half in. Yeah, no, it, okay. it's up on land. It's coming after you all. Oh. Letty lured it up onto the land. Okay. No, I'm getting out of the water then. You get out of the water. Uh, is that my action then? No, you can still punch. Okay, I'll run up and punch it then. Do you have a knife? Um, I've got a big book. When you were all at the trailer park, Dexter got enough for everyone to have a knife. Oh, okay. I'd have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. D6. D6. One, one damage. damage. Okay. You put one point of damage on it. Poke it. Uh, Dexter or Kyle. Right? Or did Kyle Let's already gone? do... Okay. I don't know that I had a turn yet either. You haven't? Yeah. It's I started over, so... Oh, that's right. Okay. Waylon and I have gone. And now Jeeves. So yeah. Yeah. Joe, Bert, Jeremy, yeah. or Eddie. Let's do Dexter. Uh, uh, pump, pump. 
shoot. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to hit jam. the eyes, guys. Damn it. That's a two. <laughs> Were you aiming at the other eye? Yeah. Give me a body test. Okay. Oh, nice. One eye has been stabbed with a pencil, and the other eye has been shot with a BB gun. <laughs> it is now not able to see. Okay. Dexter. I think Letty should go next. Letty. If he's, yep. You get up, and you lose your turn in combat. Yeah. Uh, does that take us to Kyle? I think so, yeah. I think so. All right, um, I'm gonna jump on top of this thing, mount it right, right on the neck behind the head. Okay. <laughs> you is that gonna be a test? I assume. Um, yeah, I really think it should be a body test. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen. Well, that's it's one of only two scores that actually is higher than my body test. All right, I'm gonna. Spend a luck re and re-roll that. that. Okay. You okay, jump on better. it. You are on this thing, the back of its neck. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, I guess it's my turn again now. It is your turn again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yell for somebody to throw me the uh, chain. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, because I'm assuming I'm not holding the chain. Somebody else is probably holding it. Sure. Um, I, I'm going to try and... around, so he's probably had the chain. Well, he was using the fishing line for that. Yeah. But the idea was to get it to bite and then wrap it with the chain. Okay. letty has got the chain. Okay. Um, I'm going to, since this thing is going to be, we're going to need to chain its mouth soon. Um, I'm going to real quick just see if I can poke that soccer ball with my pencil. You're going to deflate the soccer ball? I'm going to deflate the soccer ball. It's your then... special item, so yes, you can absolutely do that. You deflate the soccer ball. Okay. This thing is blinded and now has its bite attack again. All right. And <laughs> I'm going to yell, guys, throw me the chain! Throw me the chain! And... Uh... Next, uh, next up, I'm gonna say Letty. Okay. You've got your turn. I guess Letty needs to come coming back into the fray with the chain, trying to get it up and over. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me a. I'll just give me a body test. Okay. Please. Yes. You run up, and you and Kyle quickly wrap this chain around its mouth. Letty, who's next? Uh, Waylon. I'll grab the 12-pack of Natty Light, and I'll throw it in the crocodile's mouth. Oh, the crocodile's mouth is chained shut. Oh, so it is chained shut. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I'm coming at it with a knife. Absolutely. That's a six. Oh, yeah. oh yes. That's oh, another six. Keep going. <laughs> Come on, Waylon. Yeah. 13. 14 damage. No, I'm not messing around. I'm burning my last luck. Oh, oh shit. my gosh. Okay. Turn that into an 18 plus. <laughs> yeah. That's a 22. I like it. Ooh. Okay, it takes an injury, but it gets the, you're fine, you get lucky, no effect injury. Ah, jeez. Oh. All <laughs> right, Waylon, who's next? All right, who's all gone in this round of... Uh, Kyle initiative? started it out, then it went to Letty, then you. So, myself, Dexter, or Jeeves. Go with Jeeves. 
All right. Um, I think I want to assist in like pulling on the chain and keeping it closed. Okay. I don't know. Is that like a body test to do that? Uh, I'll tell you what. If that's what you're gonna do, next time it tries to make a body test to break free or to get Kyle off its back uh, with you doing that, I'll just say that it's got disadvantage. Okay, I'm good with that. Yeah. But just keep it restrained. Okay. Who's next, Jeeves, Dexter, or me? Uh, you and uh, Dexter are the only two that haven't gone. Uh, yep. Uh, then you. Okay. So two things get to take their turn. The first, the crocodile, tries to get its jaws free with that i'm going to make a body test at disadvantage because you're holding helping to hold it it shut um it does pass Ooh. as it pulls its mouth open the chain's still there you all could wrench this chain down again but it does open its mouth up enough that it could probably bite someone again as well. The next thing I got to do is take a look at how it's handling that fish. And it's still doing fine. It, you can see it's a little less coordinated, but no s strong effect has come in yet. And the okay. second thing that happens is come driving around the uh the corner of this water treatment plant is that white pickup truck that you all saw earlier uh -oh. and it pulls up and it skids hard to a stop and out jumps that creepy fucking dude that you saw earlier looks like he's got like some kind of rifle in hand As this is either good or bad. Hang on a second. Probably full of tranks. We're either gonna get ate by a crocodile or subdued by a pedophile. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you guys like to see my mansion? You see Irvin Stevenson jumps out Dad. you stupid fucking kids get out of there it's on too much crack it'll never go down <laughs> <laughs> and he throws open the other door on this truck and starts signaling for you all to get in it's on too much. he knows a <laughs> lot about crocodiles <laughs> i love that picture um that's my turn, which I believe you can just tell by looking at it how much cracks in its system. Yeah, Dexter, you're up. Uh, Dexter just listens to the crap, uh, the, the cranky old man, and just shoots. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I Falls got it. No, BB really, hits. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, you take a shot. Go for it. Ah, it's three. three. Okay. Well, um, I got a luck again. Let's make that a six. Uh, that makes it a four. Uh, a four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Make that, let's make that a four. And uh, six. six. There. Six points. Oof. All right. That means I'm going to roll on the entry table. Ooh, it loses its next turn in combat. Nice. And, then, and I was last, so I get to go again, right? You get to go again. No, no, we got this. Pump, 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 pump. <laughs> nice. Pump up the jam. Two Pumped points. Up. Two points. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dexter, who's next? Um, let's see. Let's let Waylon go. Waylon. Okay, now I'll throw the beer in its open mouth. You, yeah, its mouth is open enough. You throw the case of beer in there. 
Uh, then I'll pass it off to Jeeves. Yeah. Uh, well, the beer is, you're throwing it, so you do get to roll a d4. Oh, okay. Handy dandy. One point One. of damage. Okay. Jeeves. Okay. Um, so the chain got wrapped off its mouth again? It's not all the way. Like, you could devote your turn to cranking that back down. And closing yeah. its mouth. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. Um, give me a body test this time. Okay. Oh, pass. You've got its mouth Easy. closed again. Wait. It's got a 12 pack of Natty Light in there as well. Jeeves, sure who's does. next? Um, it's going to be Jeremy, Eddie, or myself. Let's do Jeremy. Okay. Kind of elbow push Christy to point at her to run to the truck. Okay. And keep stabbing at the crocodile. Sure. Oh, that's yes, a six. Yes, there we go. Fuck, yeah. That's a four. That's ten, ten damage. Ooh. So it's going to lose its next two turns in combat. Nice. We should just let it go last. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Letty, who's next? Who hasn't gone yet? Kyle? Kyle. So, yeah, let Kyle go so then the crocodile can lose two turns in a row. And Yeah. Boom. Kyle, you're up. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to... I'm assuming, is my knife stuck in this thing somewhere that I threw earlier? It's on the ground, like, next to it. Okay, you can grab so it. I, I'm, I won't worry about that then. I'm just going to, because I'm on its back. You are. So I'm going to take my pencil out, yeah. and I'm going to stab the other eye, the one that was shot with the BB gun. Absolutely. And You'll... just, yeah. yeah. Body just, test? Just go right for there. it. So you said body test? Yep. See if you blind it more, since we're doing a calm shot. More blinder. You... That is way under my yep. body. So then you give me a D6. Okay. BB further in there. Yeah. One day. Huh, only one. Okay. But you stab it in the eye. Um, I'll spend the luck on that. Okay. That becomes a six. I will roll another one. That's another one. So that's. Seven damage. So seven. It loses oh another God. turn. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. I'm going to pass it right back to Letty. Uh, actually, you were. Everyone else is gone, so then it's the crocodile. The crocodile and it loses both. Oh, that's right. Turns. The, the, yeah. That's right. The crocodile's got to go. So it's so it's got three turns to lose, right? So it's going to lose both this one, the next one, and then the next one after. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So it loses Holy since cow. it was last. Then it's first. It loses both of those. Uh, then I am going to roll to see who's going to go after the crocodile. Cool. Uh, that is going to be Jeeves. Sweet. All right. Um. While I'm holding on to the chain, I'm just going to kick it for some damage. Yeah, that's a D4. <laughs> yeah. Unarmed attacks, deal a D4. Yeah. It's two. Two. Okay. Jeeves, who's after you? Uh, Let's do Waylon. Waylon. Going at it with a knife. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'll do a cold shot. I'll try to come at its uh, throat with the knife. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Does that pass? 13 under 14. 
Okay, yep. you're you're hitting its soft, throaty underbelly. I'm going to remove some of its damage reduction for this hit. So, two damage. Okay. Who's next? Uh, just for shits and giggles, I'll pass it to the crocodile. Uh, crocodile's already had its turn this round. Oh yeah, that's right. It has. Yeah. Um, in that case, Kyle. Kyle. All right. Uh, I'll take the pencil and uh, pull it out, stab it right back in, and roll it around. Okay. Uh, if you're doing a cold shot, you'll still do that body test. That is not a pass. Oh, I will. I I got another one to spend, so I'll spend it and re-roll. Okay. Mm. Oh, I got one left. I'll spend it and re-roll. Okay. There okay, you go. that's... All right. All you right. hit it in the eye again. So give me that D6. Three, Three more. Damage. Okay. Kyle, who's after you? Uh, Jeeves is gone. Uh, wayland has gone. You've gone. So it's either Bert or Jeremy. Dexter. Dexter, you're up. Pew pew. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days it'll uh, it'll just keep exploding. There it is. There yeah. we go. Five damage all Five. Yeah, five. It loses its next turn in combat. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just stun locking it. You really are. Um then that would take us to Letty. Letty's right up there with Wayland. He sees what Wayland's doing, trying to go for the soft spot on the throat. He'll try to copy that. Okay. That seems like a smart idea. So that's a body check, right? Yeah. Okay. Against the max. There okay. you go. Succeeds. Here we go. So, yeah. Let's get that D6 in there. It's a one. You know what? I'll spend a luck on that. Okay. That becomes a six. Turn that into a six. Eleven damage. Eleven. As you bury your knife in deep, you can feel its body go limp. And all of its weight gives out as it collapses. <sighs> you have slain the crocodile. And Kyle's just standing on top of it like, yeah. As Irvin, you fucking kids, closes his truck door and drives off down the mountain. With Christy in the cab. I was going to say, didn't he take Christy? <laughs> Wait, uh oh. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. Well, he's just taking me to safety, right? But did did you see that? Christy, did you see that? Uh, no! Oh, no, she missed it. triumphant moment. <laughs> it's a fate worse than death. The cool girl missing what I did. So, Crocodile is slain. Irvin drives off. Congratulations, you've killed the Crocodile. First things first. Well, we'll start with this. What would you all do next? I would pull some teeth out of that thing's mouth. I want to make a necklace. Nice. <laughs> Gotta follow the truck and make sure, like, see if he actually takes Christy with him or not. Christy was in the truck. Now, the problem is, you all left your bikes on the other side of the tunnel. Takes a while to backtrack, because he... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get my soccer ball out of its mouth, too. But you're deflated I'm not saying ball. it's effective, but it would be the running in chase as best as possible. Yeah, you run after, but sadly, you're not able to keep up. As you lose the truck in the distance. Oh, shit. So, we're going to do... Um, 
first thing, you'll all be able to retreat for the night, and you'll get to go to bed. So you'll get to fully heal up. Oh, thank God. Does that include luck? No. Oh, okay. Second thing that will happen anything else. is you all get to level up. Woohoo! You'll need to look in the PDF on how leveling up works. I'm keeping the BB gun. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> I'm keeping the hot dogs. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have hot dogs, don't I? Inexhaustible hot dogs. Yeah, inexhaustible yeah, hot now dogs. Now that's your perk. Inexhaustible hot dogs. <laughs> I have a backpack full of those. You just keep you know? replicating. You're not sure why, but you went to bed with five. There's eight now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. I love it. Well, that's dogs. not even counting the hot dogs that was in Kyle's backpack. Kyle had a yeah. backpack of hot dogs, but they were cooked. Yeah, it, I had like I had like 16 hot dogs in yeah. my backpack or something. Um over the next few days, you hear rumors that Christy never made it back home. She is missing. But there's been odd reports of pets going missing and other things being stolen around town. Ooh. Ooh. Who would do such a thing? Oh, wait, that's us. Yeah. Well, no, this wasn't us. I mean, we, we had nothing to do with any of that. Not the pets, at least. Yeah. No. So, the missing stuff. The missing stuff. If we continue with the Bayside file, yeah, Bayside files, it'll be finding out what happened to Christy. Can't we submit an anonymous call to the police that she was last seen in this truck with this plate and in this guy? You certainly could, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you all know how that. effective adults are. Absolutely. Well, useless. especially when we only got one sheriff's deputy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that guy's a total wuss, too. Uh, I think it might be up to us. All right. So, yeah. Will level up bonus be a cool scar? Like, if you took 12 points of damage, you get a cool scar? Sure. Sweet. Um. Yeah, and that's where we'll wrap it for tonight. You killed the crocodile. You leveled up. And if we continue, we'll start level two, rescuing Christy. Or finding nice. out what happened with Christy. I, I just want to point out that I take I take two big teeth sure. out of this thing. I make a necklace for me, but I make a necklace for other Kyle as well. He deserves a necklace yeah. made from the tooth of the crocodile we slayed who took his foot. Sure. 100%. Yeah. All right. Let's get oh, out so since here. we stole his brother's car. You did. You gave it back. <laughs> borrowed. Yes. Borrowed. Yeah, I guess. And, and most of his stuff. Surprise borrowing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we're going to wrap. Congratulations. You killed the crocodile. Yay. Um, Anyone got anything they want to plug? Oh, I got a Kickstarter I'm involved with. You can throw up there. Yeah. So I know Train Through Hell funded. They can still pick up oh. Massacre Grounds. I got to get the other Kickstarter link pulled up. Yeah, it's uh, Junk Hunter Mars. Princess of Mars is the audio drama fully realized and dramatized by a group that's done several of these things. But my small um, contribution is a 5E slash OSR uh, book that you can get with that so that you can play your own Barsoomian tales using your favorite 5E OSR system. Nice. Try to find, because there was another Kickstarter for John Carter of Mars. You might throw the link up if you've got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go go ahead with the other folks and I'll throw it up there. Oh, this might be it. Is it from... It's Fox the audio Studio? series. The audio series? Yes, okay. that's it. I've got yep. it. There's a link. It has funded, uh, double its funding goal, but really uh, the sweet spot comes at around 30000 to do uh, everything that they want to do with it. Uh, they're at 23000 now, and it's been less than 48 hours. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Impressive. Anyone yeah. got anything else they want to throw out there? No? 
Okay. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday for more Night Below. We'll be back on Friday for more Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Um, and yeah, that's what we got. So uh, we're going to get out of here because I am running out of things to say. So until we see you next time, um, play Teenage Odyssey. Shoot BB guns, feed beer to babies, and... Yeah. <laughs> Give Angry Dogs Percocet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Fight thing crocodiles. Fight mm -hmm. crocodiles. With your bare fists, if your you can. bare fists. All right. Listen to Leonard Skinner. Yeah. We'll catch you all later. And give uh, your friends to strangers that show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>